Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. I will go and do. This is bad! On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Well, I'm sure he is the most trustworthy of gents you would ever meet. Please bring Mr. Frank saw it, saw it to the stand. Brilliant. Good pun, good pun. Continue. Mr. Saw it, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? No! Oh, oh yes, newspapers. Yes! Mr. Salt, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Yes, please do tell us, oh trustworthy gent who we have never seen before. Witnesses account. I was going door to door, selling newspapers, when I saw a man fleeing from an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her, lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. Wow, thank you for all of those ellipses, Mr. Sort. That makes your testimony so much more plausible. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought I might call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. If you didn't go inside, then... I doubt that her phone was right next to the door, Mr. Sight. Bad man. I went to a new nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Ooh. Did you catch that lie? Cause I did. The man who run was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Oh, Mr. Sawit. I don't believe you. Hmm. <laughs> Larry! Why didn't you tell the truth? Phoenix, really? You didn't you didn't catch that huge lie in there? Really? I can't defend you against a testimony like that! Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. How convenient! Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Ooh, perusal! I do love perusals. They come from Peru. There are llamas there. Blackout record added to the court record. No, Mr. Wright. Y yes, or y yes, Your Honor? You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. L lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then the witness must have lied in his testimony. No, Mia, he would never lie. It's not like there was a giant, huge, freaking lie right in the middle of his testimony. Oh. Or is your client really guilty? Ugh. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Yes, rub it right in there. Get right up to the stand and smash it into his face. Rub it in real, real good. That will teach him. 
Um, okay. Touch the court record button and point out contradictions in the testimony. Indeed, we shall go and do... Witness account. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions, a man fleeing apartment, blah blah blah. Okay, let's get to the contradiction. And I believe I've caught you in a lie, good sir. Let us see. Okay, let's present some evidence and stuff. Okay, Mr. Sword, prepare to be taught. Present. Present. Yay, there we go. Uh. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. For sure. For certain, I mean. <laughs> Frankly, I find that hard to believe. I do too! Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. Haha, <laughs> take that, mister! There is nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this? three-hour gap. Look at that! A three-hour gap! <laughs> oh, that! Oh, uh. oh, don't you- don't you object to me, Mr. Payne! This is trivial. A witness barely forgot the time. I swear. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, Wright. Way to put him on the spot. Indeed, you get a cookie, Phoenix. You get two cookies. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. Indeed, truer words have never been spoken, Miss Mia. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Of course he remembers now, liar. The time of the discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. Ooh, and how did you hear it? There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from uh, the television. Good one there, Mr. Sawit. Uh huh. Huh. Great job. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Oh, I'm sure you are, Mr. Sawit. I'm sure you are. Hmm. I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one! Indeed, I've got this one because I know that you most clearly lied right about... Go back. Here! Let us get our blackout record and school you yet again. Present that. Present, present. There we go. Hooray! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Ugh. You couldn't have heard a television or a video! Haha, <laughs> take that, Mr. Sort! Haha, <laughs> we made his wig jump yet again. And he is now sweating bullets. Quite literally, I mean, we could probably collect those and put them into a gun, and it'd be fantastic. Gah! I... Uh, well... Urgh! The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sart? Oh, I'm sure he'll find something. Uh, no, I, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait, wait, wait! I remember now! Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Oh yes, because he had so much credibility to begin with. 
that, and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sword. Let's hear your testimony. Once more, please. <sighs> How much credibility are we going to give this man? Hearing the time. A actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Uh, there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't wasn't there? Uh, yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. It must have been what I saw. Oh, Mr. Sawit. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Yes, let us break this pony. Break it down into tiny bite-sized pieces and make it into glue. Okay, you saw it. The table clock. Yep. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. I mean, this statue. Good, sir. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't the clock. It wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now. How is this supposed to be a clock? And I think that we have you cornered, Mr. Sawit. You, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. Oh, bollocks! The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Your apology is my butt! You suck as a prosecutor and you were hiding evidence, darn it! No, you cannot just accept this, Judge! It's not fair! I see. So, the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Why, yes I do, Your Honor. Yes! Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in this witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Uh, that and I also have to say he had to have entered the apartment to check out that phone as well. Even if it was just right in the entrance, I mean, he couldn't have just like leaned over the threshold to get the phone. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock, because he... <laughs> he either knew the victim, or he went into the apartment. Gee, I wonder what I should pick. So difficult. Went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Uh, oh yeah? Prove it. Prove it I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Ooh. That is a good statement, Phoenix, but we're going to have to back it up. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That's the sound you heard. Rubble, 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 rubble. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burnt into your mind. By the way, what is that freaking clock made out of? Yeah, that's one dense clock. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Yes, totally baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? 
I, 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 that day, I, I never, I, look, I, the, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, I saw, <laughs> He hit me with his wick! That is fantastic. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you. It was him. I tell you, I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death. Oh, wow. This is doing so much to help your case, good sir. Bravo. Rubble, 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 rubble.